you guys, I'm not doing too well today in the vlogging spectrum, but I'm really tired right now. <laughs> but I need to do a lot of things there, actually, so. Um, I actually went shopping today, but I finally got some autumn stuff, like a lot of autumn decorations and stuff, so I thought I'd do that tonight. I might just like, use my autumn baking as well, so. Yeah, we have an autumnal night ahead, but yeah, I think that's like the latest I've ever, like, sort of, like, left it to decorate for autumn. Um, because last year I decorated it as soon as September came, but we're, like, ten days into September. And I still haven't decorated yet, so I'm going to do that tonight, actually, so. I mean, I went shopping today for the autumn stuff, and that's really cute, actually, I have to say. Oh, wow, oh my god, here's the autumn decorations. I'm really excited to finally get to decorate for autumn. I wanted to do it for quite a while, but I keep putting it off, but for tonight, I'm doing it. So, we have this vase, which from B&M, so this little vase from B&M is full of, like, pampas grass and leaves and I thought it's really nice for autumn. It's got like brown vase in as well. It's like pampas grass. It looks really actually. This is a cute find. So I'm excited for that. Um, and then I went to Primark. So I got this like cute owl thing which is a really cute owl. Just a really cute ornamental owl. It's not a candle holder or anything. It's just a really cute candle. No not a candle holder. I said it wasn't a candle holder. But this is a really cute owl thing. This costs about £3.50 which isn't too bad. Um, it's just a cute owl, really, just so what can you do on a cute owl? And next up is um, the wrapped all like bag, so it doesn't really it's a really cute mushroom. This is the cutest thing ever. This is what really drove me to buy it. Like, so it's a really cute mushroom. It's £3.50. It's a brown top mushroom. And it's like all over TikTok as well. Like, everyone on TikTok says that this is a really cute mushroom. Um, so I bought it. And obviously, now I own a cute mushroom. And this is like £3.50, much like the owl. And I thought the owl and like the cream and brown mushroom would go well together. So, um, I then also got another one that has full. So, again, this is a, um, what is it? Oh, it's a cream pine cone. So, it's like a cream pine cone thing. It's really cute. And you've got this like, top pine cone thing here. Um, this costs four pounds. So, um, not too bad. And that's about it really. So, those are all the ornaments which I bought today. But like I said, I still got some stuff upstairs which I'm going to put out. So, yeah, try to like get actually like good ornaments this year because I feel like last year and the year before, like I ordered off Amazon and I mean, they were awesome decorations, but I felt they were quite, I don't know, tacky. Um, like I bought like leaf string lights and other kind of stuffs and I actually felt they were quite, I don't know, tacky. I did my best this year to try and find ones which looked pretty so I was trying to find like Bedlin as well because I heard they had like Bedlin which like is like autumn but it costs like £25 and I'm not paying £25 for something which I'm only going to have on for like two months and then never see it again so I decided not to get Bedlin but I did get some like I did find some like cushions which are like kind of like autumn-y so autumn is well and truly here it is the season of um, pumpkin spice lattes and um, other autumn things, so. Yeah. Right, so I'm kind of making this up right now, so I want to like, try and do this shelving unit here, which is looking a bit better because I keep saying I'll buy a new ornaments and decorations for it, just kind of do a bit of a rejig, but never get around to it. I also want to like, change the bed linen for this bit as well. Sorry, it's a bit of a mess, but I thought I was not going to tidy it because I'm only going to tidy it anyway when I start hoovering stuff right soon. Um, and I've got this like, um, desk thing here, which I'm going to do as well, so yeah, I'm just going to try and hoover up now and try and like, clean it and just try and like, get my life together really because, yeah. It's like really hard to bring a hoover in, why are you so heavy? I can try to like, hoover in, <laughs> it like weighs a ton. Why are you so heavy, like why can't it just be like lightweight? Like you think they're like today's so same age, they have technology to make hoovers like lightweight, but no, it makes it weigh like an entire stone to try and lift in.
Oh my god, I love it so much. I love this like, new autumn place. So uh, we have this bed which I just made. It's basically something real, real like cream bed linen, just like freshly made. So a fresh bed. Oh, it's got this like yellow cushion as well, which was like unintentionally found. Like this had like a blue cushion cover on, on at first, but and I found this like yellow cushions underneath it, and I thought. Autumn sweater, so I decided to keep them for autumn and it looked really good. We have all kinds as well. We've got this um, desk corner thing here, which um, you can't really see much here. I'll show you guys a close up, but um, that is it there. Then we have a bare light bulb, which did have a blue lampshade on, like, I had a massive blue lampshade on at the side, but for the blue one match with like the autumn stuff, so I decided to just keep it as a bulb for now. And we've got this like conquer thing here. Uh, which, like, this, like, lovely conco, which got from, like, B&M, actually, weeks ago. It's a plant which is already here. And so as I go for more, like, beige and golden ornaments, which I've already got already. And then I've got this, like, mushroom here as well, which is the one I bought from Primark today. Along with this, like, cute plant as well. And then I've got this, like, wall plaque, which reads out Autumn Lanes, Kate and Tame. So that's, like, cute little plant floor as well, which I had to fight to get it to uh, £3, like it said on the shelf. Um, and it goes like desktop background as well, so I've got a laptop here. But I literally just like changed the desktop background to this wonderful aesthetically thing there. And then we've got like a cute little owl thing as well, so it's so cute. And then lastly, but I know it's leastly, we have this like pinecone thing here. Then we have like placards, which are both my as they're actually it's, like a bunch of hedgehogs and it says enjoy every moment. To be fair, when I first like got the ornaments out to put here, I thought it wouldn't be enough. Like I thought I cut uh, have a few ornaments and it wouldn't look like enough. Like it wouldn't look as if I've like done anything. I thought I would like put it out and look as if like I haven't done anything. But to be fair, I think because of the colours, like the very few ornaments which are put out, um, actually have kind of like filled the room up quite nicely actually. Like I've managed to do like a desk thing on my corner, so I can also film videos against that desk and it'll be nice and aesthetic. So yeah, I think it's just about enough ornaments actually, I have to say so. Um, yeah, I'm really proud of myself actually because it's all like neutral, not like sort of stylish this year, whereas last year um, was all like tatty and it's because in previous years I tried to like make my own like autumn stuff and I remember last year I tried to make an autumn wreath, which um, now looking back didn't look too good. Like, I think I was proud of myself because it did look like an actual wreath. Like, I managed to like, do it that good so it would look like an actual, like, wreath, but um, just didn't look like it's in colours and whatever else. It didn't look quite good. Hi, I am in the kitchen, as you can see. I feel like I should have had an official title in like, I don't know, Jamie's Kitchen with like a little like fancy thing like Ugh. Anyway, I'm about to make some cookies but not just any old cookies. I'm gonna make cookies which are brown buttered cookies which so so on TikTok where you basically just like cut the butter, like melt the butter to the point where it turns brown and it's supposed to taste more nicer and more nuttier and I don't know but it's supposed to taste a lot more nicer. And I'm gonna do right now because I've not made cookies in like ages so it's gonna be my first time eating cookies of my own for I don't know, I think around about two months now which is around like because I'm always making cookies but I don't know, I feel like I've like gone off making cookies but now like gone back on making cookies so I'm gonna make the cookies right now. Okay, so you suppose put the water in like a pan or no you suppose put you suppose put oh god I can't speak. You're supposed to fill a pan of water and do like in the way where you're supposed to put the pan of water in then put a mixing bowl over and supposed to melt the butter that way. And we're supposed to run over but I use the old lazy way where I just use the microwave to melt the butter but I'm doing it the proper way today, so like any old baker would do to melt his or hers butters. Right, I've got the butter. I'm supposed to put the butter over there like that. I'm not sure that you're supposed to and like stir it about and let it sort of melt. Right, this is the completed brown buttered cookies. So we have these cookies here right now, which we're trying to like tip over without like tipping it over. 
So I might do a close up actually and it's like these buttered cookies. Hold on. So it's really like so like nice and buttered and like white chocolate cookies as well. So yeah, they're very lumpy though, I have to say, but as long as it tastes nice. I'm gonna try it once, see what this one tastes like. I hope it tastes nice. Yeah, I think it's pretty good actually. I have to admit, they don't taste different than when they usually make it, like just melted butter, but they do taste actually quite good. And it doesn't taste too sweet actually, which I thought would be too sweet because I put like white chocolate. And I usually white chocolate's too sweet, and I can't really eat too much white chocolate, but yeah, actually, it um, tastes pretty nice actually.